During this period, China celebrated the 40th anniversary of reform in opening up. What makes me most gratified and moved is the radical changes that have taken place in Tibet. It has been 10 years since I returned. With such dramatic changes, the living standard has been greatly improved and people are happier. Just to give you some brief examples, you can see the extent to which the state has taken care of various sectors such as transportation, medical care, education, environmental protection, and poverty alleviation. In short, Tibet has made world-renowned achievements in many aspects, which I am particularly delighted about. As I said, the U.S. healthcare system usually serves the interests of the bourgeoisie, but not the general public. I didn't really believe it when China first planned to build the medical insurance system. But when the system was officially established, I was stunned and proud. The U.S. does not have high-speed rail either. When I arrived in the U.S., I thought, as a developed country, the facilities would be very advanced. At that time, I planned to take the high-speed train, but I was told there are no high-speed trains at all, only ordinary trains. Oh, my God.